Today, I'm going to be showing you all how to install Mario Kart Wii Retro Rewind on Dolphin Emulator. Let's get right to it. For starters, you're going to need three simple things, two of which I am able to provide. You're going to need Wheel Wizard, which I will show you how to install that in a second. Dolphin Emulator, same thing. And you will need to have dumped a legal copy of Mario Kart Wii from your Wii. All right? It's all, all you need. But let, how do you get Wheel Wizard in Dolphin? Um, I will provide these links in the description below. So what you need to do for Wheel Wizard is you will go to the wiki page seen here. And then if you go to the right here, you will see a download tab. In the download tab, you want to click the GitHub Wheel Wizard. Use this for Dolphin link. Click it and it will take you to a GitHub link. Now, the current latest release does not have a Windows version, and if it doesn't have a Windows version, assuming you're on Windows, scroll down a little more and click the assets here, and if you see a Wheel Wizard Windows, click it and download it. Same thing for Dolphin Emulator. Go to the link in the description below and click Dolphin, whatever version it is, click it, and then download it for your respective operating system so for me it's windows so i would click windows x64 now that you have everything you need installed onto your computer one thing i would heavily recommend before you do anything is open dolphin it might say do you want to show your data click yes or no it depends and go to controllers once you're in controllers click the gamecube standard controller and click configure and if you have a controller plugged in you can select that controller click the A button, for example, and then once you click the A button on your controller, once it's searching, it will assign that button to that button, if that makes sense. Once you're done with that, you can close out Dolphin for now because we won't need it until a little later. But now what you can do is open Wheel Wizard. It might give you this prompt right here. If you get this prompt, click more info and run anyway. I promise it's not a virus. And you will be here in Wheel Wizard. What you need to do, click config not finished. You will go take into this tab and click edit. Once you do that, the Dolphin emulator executable path, if you click the folder, it's just the Dolphin EXE you have. If you click the Mario Kart Wii game file one, it's the Mario Kart Wii ISO or WBFS if you have one that you dumped from your Wii. And Dolphin user folder, it will automatically find it because you already opened Dolphin. So click yes and save. Technically, you are very close to being done. All you have to do is go back to the home tab and click install. And it will continue to download the newest version of Retro Rewind. It's almost done downloading, but once we are done installing, it will let you play the game. You might have to click off and click back on it will say this up to date you click that and it'll say play you can click the button the play button to open mario kart Wii retro rewind you're technically done there's just a few small things i want to do and there's the dolphin button to launch dolphin makes sense there are a few more things i do want to mention though so let's go to my profiles these are where your licenses for Mario Kart Wii will be stored. So, for example, if you make your first license um, a ZPL me and you have a friend code, it, all of your data will be shown here, which is pretty cool. If you go to my stuff, you can install mods. You can click the browse button and let's say we want, I don't know, um, sushi. We want sushi by me. We click install. Yes. And you can install the install the mod. And now you can enable it by clicking that. It's an automatically enabled, but if you click off, it's disabled. You can enable and disable mods as you wish. I will show you that in game. Once we click on the rooms tab, you will be able to see all the rooms in Retro Rewind and other packs that are being played. So for example, if I click here, I can see that this, this is a room going on playing Retro Rewind at this very moment. You can see everyone's VR. It's pretty cool. You can see even copy friend codes or if you're weird, you can view a me as well and then rotate it. That's pretty cool. And another thing you can do if you go to the friends, I don't have any friends, but you can see who is playing online and whatever. It's really cool. But the most important part of this little section is the settings. We obviously already have these settings done, but once we go to, vi we want to go to video, right? 
This is where things get a little interesting. So you want, if you have a lower end computer, be sure to keep your resolution at lower resolutions. Don't make it like 8x. You don't need it. But we, the maximum I would recommend is 4x if you have a really high end computer because you might not have a monitor to show that. But I'd recommend something like that. Then enable recommended settings. You enable that. Now you have the settings recommended to run it at the smoothest frame rate possible. DirectX 11, 12, Evoken are what I recommend. You can test and play out with each one. You might get started with some, but not others. And now we go to other, and we got more settings. You can change the option to make Retro Rewind and Wheel Wizard a different language. And if you're having problems with Retro Rewind, you can reinstall Retro Rewind if you need to do a fresh reinstall. And, of course, there's the about, which kind of shows, yeah. But with that all out of the way, let's make sure Retro Rewind works. You click the play button, it will open the game with your controls that you selected. It might compile shaders, that's normal. It will take a second, but once we're in, which, yep, we are, you will see it's making a save file. If it does this, by the way, if you have... It might do this. It might get stuck on the screen. A very simple fix you will have to do is just close the game like this and reopen it. So for some reason, it doesn't move past that screen. But you will see you're on Retro Rewind. So if you click here, you can see you are playing Retro Rewind. So if we go to the settings up here on the top right, you will see you can access these settings. And you can configure Retro Rewind's exclusive settings. So you can do all inside, bike inside, all outside for drifting, intense CPU, enabled brake drifting, and so on and so forth. You can even enable stuff like input viewer or make your performance mode frame rate, which is just 30 FPS if your computer is very low end. And some other things, one thing I would like to recommend is if you don't like the slow menu transitions, you can make, enable fast menus here. And now menus will be instant. And if we go here, we create a new license, which let's say I'm a player me because I don't have any me's yet. By the way, there will be a me maker in Wheel Wizard soon. So you might have that if you're looking at this tutorial later down the line. Just to make sure that my stuff mod worked, we go to single player. We can go see we have time trials 150 and 200. If we click 150, you can see we do have the mod. That's Mario. We even have the custom vehicles, and you can see you can play custom tracks and retro tracks offline. But let's go back, and I want to show you the online room. So to get online, you click Retro WFC, which you click here. You will have to agree with a few things. So next, next, permit, and you will be connecting to Retro WFC. And once you connect, you will get the message of the day. Welcome to Retro WFC. Click that, and if you want to play a retro track worldwide, all you do, retro worldwide, you do retro tracks or custom tracks, and you can see the player counts on Dolphin. So if I want to do retro tracks, I go here, I choose my character, which everything's unlocked from the start as well, and I joined a room. That's that simple. That is how you install Retro Rewind and get online. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe for more Mario Kart content. And peace out, gamers, once we get to the game. See, look. Peace out, gamers. They're playing a match. That's pretty cool. Anyways, bye.